favorite techniques is called Urasuki. Urasuki, it's a punch that goes right here in the middle section. Okay, if it goes here, it changes the name, but it's in the middle section. Urasuki is a punch. All right, I will be on a chamber. And the way it does is it goes on a 45 degree angle, striking this middle section. Okay, just like that. Doesn't go any, any further. 45 degree angle. Just like this. Okay, now the targets for Urasuki are the ribs, the floating ribs. This is one of my favorite parts to, to punch because here you can receive, they can punch you and you can take it. All right, you do a few crunches, a few sit ups, and then you're able to take it, to absorb the pain, absorb the punches, and get the, the, your opponent to get tired, right? But here, on the floating ribs is different, because every punch, every punch that goes on the floating ribs will make you feel that the bones of your ribs are separating a little bit. And that's not good news. Why? Because here we only we not only have bones and and, and and muscle, we only you also have cartilage. So it can be broken easy. Alright? We have a floating rib right here and can get broken. Now my other uh, the other my other favorite target would be the kidneys. Because a good punch in the kidneys with Urasuki, the person will will feel it right away. Will feel it and will drop his hands. When they drop their hands, it's a good sign because that leaves you open for a mawachi suki, uramawachi, uh, kick, any kick that you want. So that's a, that's a good thing. You can soften the person through here. We do it as okay. And then the person will drop, will cover himself up and we will leave this open for you. You can use Urasuki in Kumite. It's permitted. It's a technique that it's not gonna give you a point, but it will help you open up all the targets that you need to reach to get those points you're looking for, okay? So Urasuki, it's a small 45 degree angle punch that goes to the middle section. All right, recommendations. Do not overextend the arm do not overextend it because if you overextend it, the person might be able to do something with it. Might block it, might, might grab it, might throw you, and you're not gonna like it. All right, now here's the other thing do not overextend the arm, okay? But because your elbow is gonna feel the pain, it's gonna get the pain, and then when you punch or you do any block, you're gonna feel something here, and that's not the, that's not right. All right, so make sure it's a short 45 degree angle, punch that goes in the middle section, the stomach, middle section, all right, the ribs, kidneys, and that's it.